Hi there guys, this is Eugene and Vlad and family. And uh, we're out here in the forest and just came out here. I want to do a little bushcrafting. Uh, basically just have some s'mores and have some tea, but I forgot the tea bags. So we're making this um, pine, needle, pine needle tea. It's actually very tasty. I already tested a little bit and it's really easy. So you just get, you know, get some basically tips just to get the, the freshest little branches out of the trees and then uh, just cut off these little needles like this. You can use a knife or whatever. You can just peel them off. And um, and then, you know, you don't have to use a board like this. You can just use a stick or a rock with a dull knife if you want to. Um, and then it's, it's, it helps to cut them up a little bit because that allows a, um, like water to boil through a little easier to get more taste out of them. But <clears throat> I got that much in there. That's probably going to be enough for about four people. I'm going to put another one, one in there. But this tea, like, surprisingly tastes really good. It's kind of like, it'll get this really nice green color. I'll show you here in a little bit. But So anyway, if you're ever out there and you don't have tea, and there are pine needle trees around, um, go ahead. Now the thing is, these aren't like the ponderosa pines. These are some kind of... Um, like they're furs. Yeah, they're some kind of fur. I'm not sure what kind of fur, like a white fur or maybe a Douglas fur. I don't know. But if you, I think they're the best. Basically, the ones that have short needles. That's the ones you want. You don't want the long needles. Like that. Yeah. So let's make this tea. Put some water in there. We've got a fire going. Look at that. I'm gonna fill this up. Uh, you know, we kind of want enough for about four people. So I'll make a lot of tea. That's a liter of water. So 240 milliliters per person should make a. That's pretty much a cup. <clears throat> so then you have this really cool setup. Um, it's right there. We made this a while back and you can just let the stuff sit, but basically the stick that goes on the ground and then uh, this not these notches on top and this notch stick that you can put this on and then you just hook up your water and you can hang it up and let it boil. So then I'll show you kind of what it looks like when it's ready. Mm. That was good. Yep. Let's make some s'mores, shall we? Indeed. By the way, guys, I've been using this axe out here. This is a nice axe. And I used my awesome uh, Bushcrafter from Benchmade, the Bushcrafter 162, to start this fire and get the chips ready and make some feather sticks. And that thing worked like a charm. And, of course, I used the... Uh, friendly Swede fire steel with a custom handle and I used some of this um, fat wood. Basically what fat wood is is just some wood that has sap kind of that went into it and permeated the wood and then it dries up and that makes it uh, makes it really really easy to light and it burns like a like a like a candle. So you just shave some of that off, it sparks with this, lights up really easy, and uh, you can start a fire quite easily. So I might show you how that works in a little bit too. So here we go. The tea is boiling. Guys, I just wanted to show you how to uh, start a little fire with that fire steel. I mean, we got a fire going already, but I just wanted to show you, first of all, it's really nice to get a piece of bark, so we actually have this piece of wood here and you know, just broke off a piece of bark. And it's really nice to start it on the piece of bark. And then you want some good pieces of wood, like really nice and dry, kind of like this here. Um, you want to split this. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, I think it might be a little moist. Um, got a piece of cedar here, which is kind of rare to find. Cedar's a really light wood. It's really soft. It's like it feels like a feather. But the thing that's really nice about it is you can make really nice feather sticks out of it. So I'll show you that. And um, having a feather stick is really nice for this this part. Have the um, to start a fire. I'll show you what I mean. So you want some shorter sticks, kind of like that.
and then you want a couple little ones. I mean, there's a couple options. Basically, you can either have you can either have feather sticks or just a bunch of little tiny sticks. But um, I think that'll be actually plenty to start our fire. And then you kind of want bigger and bigger sticks as you go up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple very thin sticks like that off to the side, kind of like that. And then I'll get a, a couple like this. And so then you take your bush, you know, your whatever you got your knife, and then just oh, that is nice. Huh? That is actually really nice. Yeah. See how? Cedar. Yeah. See how nice the chips are, uh -huh. and it makes this really nice little beard. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And then you want a couple of those, and then you save, save these ones that fell off. Just put them on the side here, and then one more. And then you can kind of go on both sides. Okay, so those are called feather sticks, okay? So then, what I really used to actually light it initially is this piece of fat wood, like I said. And it's just, you can see it's really yellow. It's kind of filled with sap. And you really just want just a couple really small shavings. You don't need much for this part. Yeah, a little more, a little couple more would be good. And it depends on you know how wet the wood you're trying to light with this is and kind of the conditions if it's wet outside and humidity and stuff. It's pretty humid here today, but this wood stayed pretty dry. Okay, so I think that's plenty of shavings right there. I'm gonna kind of get them all, yeah, thanks. Get them all kind of bundled up like that. <clears throat> Always put your knife away. And then you, the friendly Swede. So make sure when you start this, you have your, your wood ready. So you've got your uh, feather sticks, your little pieces, your bigger pieces, and then the biggest ones. And we're just going to kind of go right up to it, take that flint, do a couple of slow grinds because that puts a couple chips in there, and then, and, then, and then a quick one. And it'll take a couple of tries sometimes to get this. There we go. And once that starts, you just kind of hold up your feather stick into that. Add your chips, just like that. And once the fire is kind of taken off, start adding the pieces of wood to it. And the cool thing about doing it on a piece of bark is A, it gives you a nice surface, and B, it lets you move it around pretty easily. So even I, you know, I have this huge fire going here, I can, I can actually lift it and carry it over. And in this case, you know, I wouldn't have a fire there, so I would have put it right into there. So I'm just gonna kind of do that. But you get the point. So there we go, guys. And that's using this magnesium fire steel. By the way, all the links to all the stuff that I'm using out here, um, it's always gonna be in the description if you wanna ever buy it. Um, like the, this is a really nice recommended fire steel. I love this ax, the Grand Force Brook Small Forest Ax. It's a really nice bushcrafting ax. This saw, unfortunately, the Saw Viver, it is a really cool saw, but it's no longer made. So that's sad. Now the coolest thing about the saw, guys, this saw weighs nine ounces. <clears throat> That's like lighter than the Baco. I forget what the name of it. It's a Baco folding saw. Um, I forget what the name of it is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. That green one. It's lighter than that, and it's way longer, and it cuts really well. So anyway, I think our tea Plus is getting ready. Folds down. Too. Yeah, it folds down to a tiny, tiny saw. I think our tea might be boiling. Let's, let's take a look at it. So I always bring a glove out, by the way, when you're out here because you can grab wood and things like that. So we can take it off. And we'll just check on it here real quick. It's starting to boil, I think, in there. And we'll just we'll let it go. I think we're going we're gonna to get a little bit of a bigger fire going here. I'm going to add a couple sticks into this fire. And get it nice and warm. Which I 
back in a little bit.